What's going on guys? You're watching Spartan G Gaming. It means so much to me that you're watching this next Black Ops 3 calling card side bet challenge. And the side bet calling card this week is called Battle Cry. I cannot believe we're already into the fourth week of these side bet challenges and the time has gone so quick but there's only two more weeks after this week to go before we can get the right to then hopefully unlock the classified collector's calling card. Now this week's challenges so that we have to complete to in order to get that blackjack character unlocked a game for the um, 60 minutes play is the contract killer getting 500 kills. Now that is very easy but it's just more time consuming than anything, okay? If you work out your average kills in a game, then you can work out how many games it's gonna take you to roughly get to that 500 kills. So I'll let you use your own equations because everybody's play gameplay is different, but you can work that out yourself, guys. In the high powered, you need 25 kills with score streaks. Now that is easy. I would recommend that you use score streaks that you know you're gonna get high kills with. For an example, use your hardened sentry, use your wraith, use your raps deployment ship. I actually used the raps deployment ship in one game while going for the 25 score streak kills and I got 11 kills in one game. On average, with the raps deployment ship, I can get anywhere between 8 to maybe sometimes 20 kills in one game. It's that good. But if you do want to get these score streak 25 kills out of the way quick, guys, then use your score streaks that you know are going to give you those high kills. But you've got all week to do this, guys. You don't have to do it as quick as what I normally do. I've got itchy pants, but you've got all week to do it, guys, okay? So when you do complete the challenges, this is the screen that you will see, and you'll see the little token in the side now giving us that choice to unlock that Blackjack character so we can play with him for 60 minutes. And I've been waiting six days, guys, to now use this character again. I do like that, though, because otherwise I think if we were using him all the time, we would get so bored with him. But it's nice that you have that little break from him and then get to use him again. So let's activate our token. We've got 60 minutes gameplay with him. Now you've got the rogue perk, which is the specialist weapons. And as you know, guys, you've also got the gambler, which is the abilities perk. It's up to you which one you prefer. I prefer using the rogue where, this, where we get the specialist weapons. I am going to keep the gameplay short, guys, when we now go into this um, now. The reason being is because you know how it works, guys. I'm not going to bore you to tears with telling you what you already know. But I am going to remind you of a couple of little things, okay? You need to remember that whether you're using the rogue perk with the specialist weapons or the ability, which is the gambler, you need to get four kills in one game with two different weapons. A lot of you forget that you need to get two different weapons before you can unlock the card. So you need to prevent yourself from getting four kills in total with one weapon to start with, okay? You need to avoid it. Get your two kills if you can, or three kills even, and then back away. Don't get the four kills all with one weapon because you will not get the card unlocked. All right, guys, so just reminding you on that, please don't forget that. Now, in order to get that card unlocked in this game, I was going through some messy connection um, gameplay. But I would recommend, even when you've got bad times like this, I mean, I was talking to American colleagues while playing this game, and they were playing in it as well, and there's such a big, you know, overseas difference, um, you know, with the connection, that it just was always going to be a messy game with the connection. It's just some of the kills and hit markers you would get and just weren't registering. It was just a pathetic game. But even when you're having a rubbish game, guys, like I prove here, you know, you can still get the card unlocked. Play game modes such as Uplink, as I always recommend to you. Hardpoint, Safeguard, games that are going to take a long while to play. Because then even if you are having a rubbish game like this, at least you've still got time to get the four kills with two different weapons that you need in order to, in order to get that side bet challenge car. So you can see there, guys, we did unlock it at the last moment, but it was a very, very messy game. When you do unlock it, you will see this screen. And it will now say that um, your side bet calling card has been unlocked. We've achieved that. We've still got half an hour left with the character Blackjack. So I'm going to go and have some fun with him in a moment. I love using that character. So let's just have a look into the actual calling card itself. And then we can have a look into next week's challenge as well. So I can't wait for that. These are some of the other cards we've already got, guys. Now, you must remember as well that if you haven't got these cards already from the previous weeks, then you're probably never going to get them because they are only weekly challenges. So it's pretty sad, guys. I really feel for you if you haven't got those unlocked already. But that's why we get a week to unlock them. So hopefully you've got them the same as me. Let's have a quick look into next week's um, calling card, which is called Prowler. Really looks nice. That one is kind of a panther. But I really do appreciate you watching, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. Take care, guys, and uh, peace out.